Aloha y'all, welcome back to Pete's Treasures. It has been three months since my last live thrift haul. This is live on Facebook and um, it will be posted on YouTube later. And uh, Matthew, my husband, is sharing it with one of the Facebook groups that I help admin the thrifting board. You know, my favorite Facebook group. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna show you a bunch of things that I've gotten recently. It's been several months, like I said, since I actually filmed uh, items that I've thrifted and I have a lot of good things to show you. This is our last haul of 2021 and uh, I'm ready to get back in the swing of things. Um, it has been so busy for everybody I know, but teaching has been very exhausting. Hey Marisol! <laughs> and um, just with the holidays and we took a week-long trip to Vegas and we're just catching up from everything. So I'm excited to start sharing our thrifted finds with you and for those who resell as well, you can see some bolos that um, I've curated to show you so that you have some more information. So yeah, let's get into it. Now I hope it doesn't change the orientation. <gasps> okay, we're good. So here is the table, and Henry has been very whiny lately, so hopefully he's going to be good. Usually when I'm talking to, I don't know, people he doesn't know, like on the computer, he gets a little crazy. So yeah, let's just start. Um, I just collected a whole bunch of things that I haven't shown anyone lately. And yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. This I really liked. Uh, Lisa says, hi, Henry. <laughs> um, this is a very heavy but nice crate and barrel platter. I actually kind of bought it for myself because I love it, but I know crate and barrel can sell well especially independent artist designs. Uh, this is from 2014, I believe. There we go. Oh, I was right. And we currently have it listed for 53. And oh my gosh, did I mention it's heavy? Anyways, I spent 10, which is a lot, but I think that would be a good, you know, profit margin. Oh, so thank you, Lisa. I think so too. I wonder if this is croquembouche. Do y'all know that dessert? <laughs> um, here's just another thing that I thought was cute. This little Hawaiian pillow has little rhinestones on it. That's just another thing we're going to keep. I got it for like $1.50. I love buying pillows at the thrift store. <laughs> Me too, Andrew. Um, I'm just kind of showing some things that I want to keep before I start the haul. In case more people join. Oh, I have six people watching. This was something I got at Canton. Oh, it's a little dirty. Don't judge. It is this cute little Tupperware. Look at this little tiny Tupperware bowl keychain. <laughs> I have it hanging up on my fridge. I don't know. I just had to show that. But okay, let's get into a bunch of items that can flip really well for a profit and that are just cool. Hope y'all are doing well. And um, if you haven't subscribed, this will be on Pete's Treasures YouTube channel. Uh, you know, right after this, and we are four subscribers away from 600. So if you haven't subscribed, we'd appreciate it. And we have posted a bunch of vlogs lately of our trip to Las Vegas, and I have some other videos in store for this year. So uh, yeah, I'd appreciate you checking out our content. But yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I wanted to share is my mom gave me a big box of CDs that weren't her own. She had, she's, we are a thrifting family. She thrifted a bunch of plastic bins that had several CDs that she wanted. And so basically the rest were free and she didn't want. And uh, yeah, so out of the hundred or so CDs, I scanned them all. And these are the ones that will actually sell well. We have a sealed uh, Carol King tapestry. Now, when I say sell well, I mean like $12 and up, you know, usually 15 and up. Um, I'm still trying to get into CDs. Uh, the best of Jackie to Shannon. Has anyone heard of them? Hey, Lauren. Oh my gosh, Lisa. I know. I can't wait to talk about that. You know what? I should have started with that. Hey, Hayden. Here is another CD that will sell decently. And look, it's signed. So I think most of the solds were overseas. So yeah, I think it's an instrumental. I think it's, he's a harpist. So that's pretty cool. Here's another one. The PBS Presents Legendary Performance version of Van Cliburn. Famous pianist. Really good. And just a few more. 
Uh, look, this is a sealed R. Kelly. I mean, I'm sure we all don't like R. Kelly anymore for obvious reasons, but it's sealed and maybe I can sell it. Uh, this is R. Tatum. Oh, yeah, Lisa, I'll have to check her out. Um, she had a lot of vinyl albums that were selling well, so I'm like, let's see how the CD does. R. Tatum, age, I know, Lisa, I know. So maybe I can at least make money off of him. <laughs> Bunker Soldier, Innuendo. This had, I don't know, it's sealed. It's some independent band, I think. And so it's worth it to me because there were none listed. So we'll see how those CDs do. All right, let's go to this Build-A-Bear. I thought it was very cute. And I, I got it from St. Vincent's. I love how it had the hanger. Little coconut bra and grass skirt. And it's already listed on our eBay store for about 15 I think I got it for like $1.50. Um, here is Deneen Pottery. Deneen sells well no matter where it comes from for the most part. And um, when I tell you um, that I've researched these items, I look at solds for the most part. And I like to share what we intend on listing it for before any sales. So yeah, I want to be realistic when telling people the prices that that's just what we are going to aim for. I plan on listing this for about $16 plus shipping. This is Taos, New Mexico. I've always been one. I've always been wanting. I have been wanting to go there to Taos at least. So yeah, cute little mug and bed and breakfast places and restaurants love to use Deneen pottery. I thought this was really cool. I tend to pick up things that are out of the ordinary. I mean, most of us do. This is a German kid show, I believe, called Diddleina. First of all, I love that name, Diddleina. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's like this little mouse with a bow, and she's riding a horse, and there's butterflies. And super cute. There are no glasses listed on Terapeak or um, eBay, solds or listings. And so, but the average price of any Diddleina item is 20 So just for shits and gigs... I'm going to put it up for about 30 before our sale kicks in and just see what happens. I mean, just because I can't find any glasses. And of course, we'll lower the price as time goes on. Oh, the Tupperware. A little hostess gift. Oh, that's cute. I just love miniatures and Tupperware, so this was just perfect for me. <laughs> um, this is Royal Copenhagen, and we have sold many of their plates, uh, but... It's interesting, I have never purchased a plaque before. This is by the artist Piet Hein, um, 1954. That's when my dad was born. Um, yeah, from Denmark, of course. And it's a memo pad. And this is actually a magnet. Uh, well, you put a magnet on it, but mine doesn't have the top magnet. But you can put any magnet, I'm sure. So this is, do you, oh, do remember to forget anger, worry, and regret. Love while you've got love to give. Live while you've got life to live. Oh, so maybe he's not an artist. Maybe he's a poet or both. But anyways, this just sold for 20 bucks. No, no, no. $29.99 plus shipping. I got it for like $1.50 at this little hole in the wall. Sometimes those are the best places. Uh, I'm going to list it at 30 and we'll probably get a little less because it doesn't have the magnet. But interesting. Always look it up if it says Royal Copenhagen. Here is a Zack Designs, vintage Zack Designs, uh, Looney Tunes cup. Most, most likely melamine. It's dirty. Let's see. Ah. Anyways, I plan on putting that up for about 15 before anything else, plus shipping. And we have been selling some cool pop culture items on Pop Shop. If you check us out on Pop Shop, it's uh, Peach Treasures. Almost everything we sell on is Peach Treasures. But yeah. Cute little cup. Very nostalgic for us 90s kids. Um, late 80s, 90s kids. Um, here are some pastel Tupperware tumblers. Ooh, there's 11 people watching. Hello, everybody. Um, these are very nostalgic. Uh, Matthew used to <laughs> use these, and it reminds him of his mom. So we're keeping a couple. But we're going to sell these six. I got them at a flea market. Best place to get Tupperware. Actually, Tupperware... Is very popular at flea markets, but like the outside sections of flea markets where people bring in their stuff, not the people who are set up 
as Tupperware vendors. That tends to be a little pricey because they know what they have. But anyways, I am expecting to get about 24 for this set of six. At least that's what we're going to start off at. Oh, that's cool, Lisa. Um, I just love Tupperware. I think it's super cool. I've been using it lately, um, like the big bowls for mixing while baking and stuff. <laughs> um, now, here's something I couldn't find online. Actually, I think when I bought it, uh, like a month or two ago, I could find it. It, it oh, as you can see, I paid two ninety nine. These are Tommy Bahama pineapple candles, and you know, a couple of the leaves are like gross. I think I grabbed the worst one actually. I paid three dollars for each one. I believe it could have been on discount, but like I said, I have three of them, and maybe we'll keep the broken one. But I actually couldn't find them online, and I know Tommy Bahama anything can sell well, so we'll see. Maybe about 25 bucks. Hello, everybody. I'm just so showing a haul of some of my favorite thrifted treasures to flip online for a profit. So, yeah, you can check out the whole thing on Pete's Treasures YouTube channel. Uh, right after this, I will be posting it, and we are four subscribers away from 600. So, yeah, just a cool way to end 2021. Here is something that I expect a good profit on. For $6, it was $10, 40% off. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. These Chinese cubes, they are language learning, like to learn Chinese. And let's see, I should have opened it before. But I've seen the company, but there's none listed. But it, it is these drawers of categories. And I think it's super cool. And stuff like this sells well. Any educational... I should say modern educational tools have been selling pretty well. Um, so, yeah, I just think that's awesome. And, you know, oh, yes, Andrew. Oh, you were? That's cool. Yeah, I'll show that in a minute. He's talking about this cheer athletics. Wait. Yeah, cheer athletics top. All right. Sometimes I talk a little too fast. Let me catch my breath. I have some coffee here. I know it's six, but y'all, my sleep cycle has been off. Mm. So it's really like the afternoon for me. Okay, these are things we actually bought several months ago, but I never showed it. They are these really cool, almost minky-like fleeced, <laughs> all the words, minky fleece, little ramen, sushi, you know, Japanese food, blankets. I got three of them for about 10 bucks. And we've tried them on Pop Shop. They haven't done well. So, yeah, I love it. And you know what? I would keep that for myself. <laughs> it, I just love things like that. I'm really into anime and Japanese culture anyways. So, yeah, here is the thing about Build-A-Bear. We have sold many Build-A-Bear in our life, and we have quite a bit. I've stopped buying it unless it's very, you know, specific. But this one I got for $1.50. And I just wanted to show you because it has one of the voice recordings on it. I think it says Brandon loves Tori and Amanda or something. Let's hear that again. Blake loves Tori and Amanda. Let me know if you know if we can somehow take that out and record over it. Either way. I could always give it to my students if it doesn't sell. I think it could sell for about 15 but I want to know more about that voice recording. Another reason why I did pick it up is because it has this Spider-Man suit on, which can go for about 8 So I always look for Build-A-Bear that um, has clothes on because you can sell that separately. And depending on what it is, it might sell well. All right, another plush. If you have been following us, we'd love to sell plush. This is a brand to look out for, definitely a Bolo Jelly Cat. Um, if you're part of the Secret Beach, Matthew did a webinar on cleaning plush, and we mentioned Jelly Cat a lot. And yeah, this is a reindeer. I had said moose. I'm so, I'm so bad with my animals because sometimes I'll search something, and Matthew's like, um, that's a reindeer. No wonder I couldn't find it. But this could even, this could easily sell for thirty. We've sold a moose. Actually, we've. <laughs> We've sold two mooses. You wouldn't say meese, would you? Like mouse, mice. 
two mooses before. So yeah, th those are very popular. Yes, Lisa, Jelly Cat is the best. And you know it took me over a year to realize that that is a jello mold on top of his head. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. I love when they have unique tags. Um, here is another plush, and I actually might keep this. It will sell for about 16 bucks. I paid about three. I think the thrift store knew. Oh, it is moose. Oh, two moose. That is interesting. Okay, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> I knew you would tell me. Um, this is Mary Weather from Sleeping Beauty, and the reason why I got it is, well, it could sell for 16 or so, but when I was little with me and my twin brother and my grandma, we watched it all the time, and her favorite color was, well, Andrew's favorite color was blue, so he was Mary Weather. Uh, my favorite was red. What is the red little witch in Sleeping Beauty called? I forgot. Oh, Flora, Fauna. And Meriwether, is that right? Um, but anyways, my grandmother was the green one. I think she was Fauna, because fawn, Fauna is like plants. I don't know. Let me know if you know. But anyways, that was very nostalgic for me, and you don't see those often. Here is a bolo. It's kind of hit or miss, so I guess maybe it's not a bolo. But we have sold space makers, especially vintage ones, for decent money. And if you can pick them up cheap, I would get them. Like this was a dollar fifty nine or a dollar something. So anyways, and it was probably half off or twenty five percent off. We got two of the big ones. I'm thinking we can get about twelve dollars for each, but maybe we'll put them together. So yeah, look up Space Maker before you buy it. Uh it seems like the non standard colors like lime green and pinks seem to sell well. Or a little better. I think red and blue are actually kind of little bolo. Just a little bolo to look up. Uh, this, I thought of some peeps on the thrifting board. Stephanie Canada, Nadine, Lola. Um, because it is a sewing tool. June Taylor Point Presser and Clapper. And it has these instructions. I got it for $1.99. Obviously, this will come off. I'll let Matthew do that. And yeah, this can actually go for about 20 bucks. Just this wooden tool. And I thought it might go for a lot because it looked different to me. So I looked it up. I got that at Thrift Giant. Um, moving right along. This was also at Thrift Giant for $3.99. This could sell for between $30 and $40. But the reason why I got it is, first of all, I love it. Handmade pottery sculpture. But Matthew and I have gone to Rio Doso, New Mexico several times, three or four times actually. And this is made by an artist there named Judy Peel. And this is number 3962 of seven, 7,500. Come on, my brain is on Christmas break, sorry. So yeah, this sells between 30 and 40 and so do a lot of her sculptures. But I just love how it looks. It reminds me of like, what do you call it? Like the circus, I don't know why. And yes, the feathers are supposed to be like that. All right, so let's keep moving along. What else have I brought out for y'all to see? Here is a Space Lab plate. They had a lot of collectibles for NASA. And uh, this is Wheaton. I think the brand is Wheaton Glass, and it's Carnival Glass. It actually doesn't go for a lot. I think... If you have the whole set of six or eight, it's like 50 to 60 bucks. I think I'm going to keep it for myself and see if I can find any more. But I probably only got it for about $2. So yeah, I am really into space lately. So the fact that it's called, oh wait, Skylab 2. What does that say? Oh, September 25th, 1973. Me too, Andrew. I actually love Carnival Glass. And I want to get into it more. But you know, you have to do your research on solds and you know i bet you etsy would be a better platform for that than ebay perhaps who knows lisa you're the etsy expert let me know this i picked up because right away i knew i should it just had that italian pottery look to it this is a covered butter dish i know it's huge but vietri vietri i've mentioned in a lot of our videos before it's an italian pottery brand and I just could tell for some reason the way the build quality, 
Um, now, there is one problem. I think it was glued back on. It doesn't look too bad at all. Oh, cool, Lisa. <laughs> I thought so. It was only, I think, oh, it was five ninety nine. It could have been on discount. I can't remember. But anyways, this sells consistently, or things in, okay, use your words, Aaron. Vietri covered butter dishes that have different patterns go for about thirty nine ninety nine. So since it does look like it's repaired really well, I think I might set it for that and then put it on sale after a while. So yeah, look at Vietri. Speaking of Italian pottery, here is another trivet that I love. And now I'm going to look out for this brand, La Musa. La Musa, made in Italy. It's a hang, hanging trivet. And yeah, it has little sheep on it. And I forget, I think this could go for about 24 But anyways, I believe I got this for about $2. So look up things like that. Oh, cool, Lisa. I have to... Oh, if it, okay, if it was Apollo, not Skylab. Got it. Well, I'll be on the lookout for that. I just love the color. I see a lot of orange carnival glass, but I think the blue is so pretty. Very opalescent. How is everyone doing? All right, so here's something I have shared in a lot of our videos. Uh, Gail Pittman, and I could, I could tell just by the pattern. Um, I think it's called Sierra or Sienna pattern. Maybe not, but... She sold, she was an artist that designed products for Southern Living, and I think by herself, I could just tell what it was. Now, I picked these three mugs up for 41 cents. Oh, that's cool, Timothy. Um, good to know. So, yeah, La Musa, he sold a coffee mug from them. So, be on the lookout for that. Uh, thanks for watching. These, so yeah, Gail Pittman, the, it's kind of hit and miss, I'm not gonna lie, because I think. We have sold many plates, and then I looked at the mugs, and I still think we can make about $24 on the three, but they might sit for a while. Uh, but this one, this one is Gail Pittman. Uh, yeah, and you can tell it's older. It's 91. This actually can go for about 20 on eBay just for one of them. So I might, you know, start there and see where we go. Now, as you can tell, this looks kind of similar with those brush strokes uh, the branches. This is Gail Pittman as well, and the stoppers are actually in there. Um, oh, cool, Timothy. So that mug he sold for $33. That's awesome. That's a great return on a mug. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, these are Gail Pittman salt and pepper shakers, and I think they can go for about $15. Uh, that's what my research told me. So Gail Pittman, it's worth recognizing at least and you know i have found pictures the picture was too big to be worth it to keep because the picture for some reason only sold for 18 but we had some plates that went for over 20 so yeah anyways gail Pittman, that's that's her <laughs> i don't know what else to say about that this we should have sold a little bit sooner, close to Halloween. <laughs> but now, Halloween is almost, you know, just 10 months away. Anyways, it's a Demogorgon costume mask from Stranger Things. At first, I thought it was for dogs, but I actually think it's for humans. <laughs> uh, we washed it, and it's all ready to go. I think it looks so creepy. It also, excuse me, reminds me of Resident Evil. So I think it'd go for about 20, and obviously we can list it now, but, you know. Towards Halloween, it'll probably sell better. Uh, this, I just thought was so cute. And I actually have some figurines by Quarry Quitter. <laughs> Quarry Critters. Say that three times fast. This is from 2001. Uh, yeah, this is just a picture frame. No chips or cracks. Flea bites. Anyways, it's $1.99. And yeah, super cute. These frames, uh, I didn't find this particular one, but they sell for about 20 bucks. So we might start at 22 and mark it down from there. But anyways, great find for $1.99. And if you see something from Quarry Critters that's not figurines, it might go well. That's what this video is. I just want to show you some of our favorite finds that we have thrifted lately. And yeah, go to our YouTube if you want to see more hauls. Now this I am in love with. When I saw it, it looked very mid-century to me, but also... I have a few Ikea items, so I had a feeling it was Ikea. Um, I forget the artist. 
um, because I didn't write it down. I have it in my phone. In fact, this is my first video to film on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. No, not Pro Max, just the Pro. Matthew got the Pro Max. So yeah, hopefully the video quality is looking good. But anyways, I got this for $3, and I'm going to keep it, but it is paired with a smaller one, and it's actually like a modernist giraffe. I have birds that are similar, but they're packed up. Anyways, you can find the set of two sometimes to go between uh, 40 and 65. I know that's a big range. So if I were to sell this, I'd probably put it up for 25 and see what happens. But I just love it. I get more of a brontosaurus. <laughs> uh, and it is made out of wood. I get more of a brontosaurus than a giraffe. But anyways, if it has a long neck, who cares? That doesn't even make sense. But anyways, let me know if you like that because I love it too. Now this, I might need some peeps to tell me what they think. My first inclination was that this is Pilgrim glass, but I also thought it might be Blanco. But I cannot find it. And second of all, I want to know, is this a partridge? What kind of bird is this? I think it's a... I'm getting partridge vibes. <laughs> but um, it's really pretty glass. I know, and uh, see, we have sold some pilgrim glass. Uh, actually, we had pilgrim glass uh, fish, and they're basically heavy pieces of glass that can be uh, bookends. I was thinking Blanco too, Lisa. We sold an elephant one similar to this. It, um, so yeah, I mean, I need to clean it up, but I believe we got this for two bucks, and it was just too pretty to, you know, leave behind. I love glass, 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 glass. All right, uh, if you've watched our other videos, we talk about Pier 1 all the time. This is a pattern to look out for. This is a sunflower pattern. This is super heavy. It's a pitcher. No chips or cracks, thankfully. Um, and the pattern is sunflower. Uh, this can go for about $25 plus shipping. And, you know, it's pretty heavy, so, you know, I'm thinking at least $15 for shipping. Maybe not. But anyways, great pattern and great brand Pier 1. But not, just like Build-A-Bear, not all Pure One is created equal. But if you can grab it for cheap, I would, especially the sunflower pattern. We recently sold two mugs together for about $25, or maybe it was $22. Oh, thanks, Timothy. A great modernist bird. Yeah, that's what I was kind of getting at. Or that's what I was thinking, too. It, it had that little mid-century vibe to it, to me. It's cute. It almost looks like a little hen, but... Anyways, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to look up bird things unless you know exactly what bird it is because it's such a broad category. Um, I'm saving the heels for last. But let's talk about this cheer athletic top. Now, Matthew actually used to design cheer uniforms as well as color guard uniforms. And uh, he comes from the dance world, so he knew what CA stood for. And, you know, uniforms, complete uniforms, can sell for about $200. So if you find something from Cheer Athletics or CA, it's very much in your interest to buy it. But I think he got it for less than 5 And, I mean, we only have the top. From recent solds, I saw a whole uniform sold for best offer of $250. I'm, I don't know. We're going to list this for $100 and see what happens. Okay, it's in great condition, and Matthew is my little display person. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, oh, he found it in the Halloween section. So that's cool. So someone thought it was a costume, and I guess technically it kind of is. It's a uniform. So yeah, really cool, and it's pretty, and you can just tell that it's well made. Any other details, Matthew, about that? I think he already left. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about this thing in the back. I am in love with it. Gosh, I'm going to try not to move it. It's very heavy and well done. This is a framed, very nicely framed, string art ship. It is so heavy. And as you can tell on the back, uh, there are things to hold it. But, you know, obviously, I'll let Matthew do that. I'm, I'm debating on whether I want to keep it or sell it. If we sell it, I'm thinking we would do it locally. Uh, we do have an antique booth. I'll be talking about that later. Um, it wasn't the biggest <laughs> profit 
to have our antique booth, but we want to explore getting a larger antique booth to see if that helps. Just churn out more inventory. But it, it's been a great experience this year, and at least we tried something new. But I'm thinking we would sell it at the antique booth or locally, because it is just so heavy and fragile. Um, it actually, I have a ship wall. If you've seen any of my art halls or art tours, I call them gallery walks. I show you my ship string art. So yeah, I think it's awesome. It was $15, but that day at St. Vincent's, I got $10 off. So I love to say that it was just five bucks <laughs> and it's very well done. So yeah. Oh, there's one more thing before we talk about the heels. This, I was like, that's kind of different. I never see like Wine glasses made of wood. So this is wood and almost like a lucite plastic handle. And it's from a company called Shade Tree. Now, I got this for less than $2. Y'all, on the website, it sells sets of two for over 60 bucks. In fact, it has the stemless wine glasses sets of two for $59.99. There's only one that has sold on eBay or even listed that had two in the box for, I don't know, over 60. So I'm gonna put this up for 25, see what happens. So yeah, if you find something that looks a little different, and to me it's actually kinda ugly. I can see why someone would like it though. It is, the wood grain is very pretty and smooth, and at least this is in great condition. Uh, yeah, pick it up. So yeah, last but not least, I wanted to save it for the end. My shining star, when I was getting our tax certificate to St. Vincent's so we could have tax-free on our purchases for our business, that was a new thing we did this year, I saw on the back wall these heels. Now, I'm a Keith Haring fan, so but I never look at women's shoes ever. That's one of the things that I know the least about is women's clothing. I know if it's different to look at it, but yeah, I love Keith Haring, so I asked about them. Now, they were $40, but I got 40% off. So I believe it was like 26 These are awesome. And I contacted Nadine and Lola right away, and they gave me lots of information. In fact, you should check them out. Uh, if you're on the thrifting board, I'm sure you already know their channel, Nalo's Thrift Talk. And they actually had a episode about Keith Haring and their collabs with designers. Well, Alice and Olivia are a great brand that I've learned. <laughs> now I know it's a great brand, and they had a collab with Keith Haring. These heels, I believe they're 7.5, and I did not take this off because this is the heel protector. It's barely worn. These are barely worn. The only thing is this tiny, tiny, tiny scuff on the tip. Y'all, we put these up for $675. Now, we didn't know where to start, but that is close to the price that they were when they were listed. I mean, not listed, when they first came out. Um, I know they might sit for a while. I absolutely love them. And Nadine was like, oh my gosh, she found a holy grail, at least for things that she likes. And so I can't believe I haven't shown them yet on this YouTube channel, but... I did show them when we were a guest on her show. So that was really fun, and I'd love to go back on her show. So yeah, I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite finds I've ever found. And who knew I would pick up women's shoes? <laughs> yeah, we did list it for $750, and since then we've gone to, down to $675. And it was actually our first Poshmark listing. Um, Nadine pushed us to get onto Poshmark, and I'm glad we did. Uh, and I hope to navigate that more in the new year. We also put it on Depop, which is a new platform we decided to do this year. And, of course, eBay. So, hopefully, my goal... Oh, they were $26, Lisa. It was just amazing. So, we got a steal. I don't think they knew what they had. And I'm glad it just caught my eye. And, of course, it's Keith Haring, so, of course, it would catch my eye. So yeah, one of my most favorite things I have ever found thrifting, and we will see. If we got 500 or more, I'd be completely ecstatic, and yeah. Yeah, super excited about that. Oh, there's one more thing. We always talk about buying patterns of fabric. 
I this is huge. I'm not going to get it all out, but it's called Old Father Christmas and it's to make a tree skirt. And yeah, we should have gotten it up before now, but it it is a big panel for stockings and a tree skirt. And for a dollar 49, that is a great price and it's in great condition. And some crafter is going to love that. Probably it'll probably sell in September or October. But the cool thing is is we got 3 of them. So uh, easy to list when you can put quantities on it. So yeah, thank y'all for joining me on this last thrift haul of 2021. Like I said, we've been super busy, but we're going to churn out some more content soon. In the meantime, check out our other hauls. We love to show what we like to buy to flip for a profit online and just things that make us smile and things we like to buy and curate for ourselves. So we have kind of a mixture of items because we really like to dip into every category. And we also do vlogs. So head on over to Pete's Treasures. We recently did some vlogs from our Vegas trip. Uh, we went to Meow Wolf, which was amazing, and the Titanic Museum. So if you're interested in things like that, check us out, subscribe, and yeah. Usually it's it's okay with us if we don't have people buying from us. You know, we just like to share what we do. But if you are interested in any items, you can contact us on Pete's Treasures Facebook page or check us out on Instagram at Pete's Treasures. <laughs> There's uh, lots of ways to find us, and I will put that in the YouTube description box. Thanks, Lisa. I had fun. Plenty more things, trust me. We have boxes and boxes of stuff that we have bought but not shared yet. So thank you, friends, for watching and checking us out. Keep digging for treasure because you won't find it if you don't look.